Hello children, in this video we will solve questions that were asked in the International Max Olympiad 2017-18 from the logical reasoning section for standard 6. Let's get started. Let's look at the first question. The first question is there on your screen. Select a figure from the options which will continue the same series as established by the problem figures. You have to find out what will come here in the place of the question mark. If you see the figures that are given here, in the first figure there is a horizontal line on the top part of the figure. In the second figure there is a horizontal line in the bottom part. In the third figure there is a horizontal line in the top part. In the fourth figure there is a horizontal line in the bottom part. So in the fifth figure which is the missing figure there has to be a horizontal line in the top part. When I am finding this out, I can very clearly eliminate option D because that cannot be my answer. In the option D, the horizontal line is towards the bottom part here, which cannot be the correct answer. And another thing that we can notice in the pattern that is being followed is that in the first and the second figure, there is a circle. See the circle is first appearing in the center part, then it is moving to the one corner. And in the third figure, the circle is disappearing. Similarly, if you look at the square here, the square uh, is in the center part in the second figure and in the third figure it is moving towards one corner and it is disappearing in the next figure. So what will, how, where, what will happen to this equal to symbol? This symbol is appearing in the center in the fourth figure. So it has to appear in the corner in the fifth figure and which corner will it appear? See it will appear on the right hand corner. Here also the uh, there is a symbol which is appearing in the right hand corner here also the symbol is in the right hand corner so this symbol has to appear here in the right corner like this now once i get this i can eliminate option c also because in option c this is appearing in the left hand corner which is not possible we are left with option a and option b and one more thing that we noticed was that Every symbol that you see is appearing in two steps and is disappearing in the third step. So this square symbol is there in step, this is the second uh, step and the third step and it is disappearing. So can square come again here? It cannot come. It has to be some other symbol. So it cannot be option A. Obviously it has to be a new symbol and it has, it can be option B. So the correct answer for this question is option B. Next one. Count the number of triangles in the given figure. We will first start solving this question by counting all the small triangles and then we will move on to counting the bigger triangles. This is our triangle number 1. Just keep looking at my pointer. This is our triangle number 2, triangle number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So there are 10 small triangles. Is that the only triangles that are there? No, there are some bigger triangles also. Let's find that out. Uh, before that let me just change the color of my pen so that it is clear to you. I am just going to mark the bigger triangles using green color. So this is the 11th triangle, the big triangle here. This is the 11th one and this is the 12th one, 13th one and the 14th one. So again 10 plus 4 or totally there are 14 triangles. What is the correct answer? The correct answer here will be option C 14. If the digits of the following numbers are reversed and then the numbers are arranged in ascending order, then what will be the middle digit of the middle number? What are we doing here? We are reversing the digits in the given numbers and writing it first. Let's do that. So 254 will become 452. This will become 934, 176, 498 and 859. What is done in the next step? 
first we are reversing all the numbers and writing after that we are arranging the numbers in the ascending order so what will be the order that we get when we are arranging these numbers in the ascending order ascending order means from smallest to biggest so the first number will be 176 followed by 452 followed by 498 followed by 859 followed by 934 and among these numbers which number is appearing in the middle the number that comes in the middle is 498 and which will which will be the middle digit in that number that is 9 the answer that we are looking for is option a 9 find the missing number if the same rule is followed in all the three figures there is a triangle given in each figure there is one number which is appearing in the center and there are three numbers outside the triangle in each case and we have to find out what is the rule that has been followed in each figures so that we are able to find out what will come in the place of the question mark so how will you approach this question what is the logic that has been followed here you know 6 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 5 what is this 8 5s are 40 40 into 6 is 240 and what is 240 divided by 10 which is equal to 24 which is the number that is appearing in the center similarly here I have in the second figure I have 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 7 that is equal to 5 4s are 20 20 into 7 is 140 140 divided by 10 is equal to 14 which is the number which is appearing in the center so similarly 3 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 13 that is equal to 30 multiplied by 13 which is nothing but 390 390 divided by 10 is equal to 39 what is the missing number here the missing number here is 39 which is option a next question select the correct water image of the given combination of letters whenever you are asked to find water image the line through which you have to invert the image is like this it will be horizontally it will be like this be it any image be it an image you are given some image let us say you have to find the water image of this image this given picture the line through which you will have to invert the image will be horizontally below the given figure this is how you have to draw the line through which you have to invert the given figure similarly you are given a word here combination so the to find the water image of that invert the figure along this given dotted line now look at the options which will be the correct option let us uh, go with the options and check option b cannot be your answer because after c m is being inverted no after c o has to be inverted you are inverting a, inverting the given uh, let a word along this line so after the order will not change correct first will be c only then it will be o only then m only but they will appear inverted or upside down so option b is not your correct answer because after c m cannot come similarly option c is wrong because here c o b it should be combination right combination has to be inverted so this has to be m so this is also wrong now option d is again wrong because after n it should be a wrong p is coming there that's wrong so your correct answer option has to be option a you can invert it also and check when you invert all these letters this is how it will appear in the water image correct answer here is option a select a figure from the options in which the figure x is exactly embedded as one of its parts to solve question on embedded figures all you need to do is to just look at the given option figures correctly and see which option figure has the problem figure embedded in it sometimes they will also ask you which of the pro uh, in which of the option figures the problem figure is not embedded so read the question carefully before answering here they are asking which of the option figure has the problem figure embedded in it so which is that option figure that we are looking for it is option b this is the problem figure correct it is embedded here in this option option b is your answer same figure right so option b is your answer and your correct answer option is option b 
Next question is on coding decoding. If clock is called television, television is called radio, radio is called oven, oven is called grinder and grinder is called iron, then in which will a woman bake? Generally, women will bake in, a, in an oven. But here, in this particular code language, oven is called as grinder. So, in which uh, will a woman bake? A woman will bake in a grinder because in the particular code language that we are talking about, oven is called as grinder. Correct answer is option C. Which of the following options would complete the pattern given in figure X? What is the pattern that has been followed in figure X? See, there are three horizontal lines. Then two horizontal lines, again three horizontal lines and two horizontal lines. Similarly, there are vertical lines in between. This is the pattern that has to be followed to complete the figure X. See which option has that. If you see option A here, there are only two horizontal lines. Uh, and again, two, three, two. No, that's not the pattern. So this is not the answer that we are looking for. If you look at option C, uh, it is three here then it becomes 2 then again 3 seems to be correct but look here there are 4 lines no so this is also not the answer that we are looking for here it is in option b it is starting with 2 lines then 3 lines then 2 lines and then 3 lines no if you look at the problem figure everywhere it is starting with 3 lines then 2 lines and then 3 lines and then again 2 so which is your correct answer option your correct answer option has to be option d because in option d this condition is satisfied 3 2 3, 2. Yes, that is satisfied. So, the answer that we are looking for is definitely option D. D 